Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. Well, Kamiya Khan is over for now, and judging by social media and people who have gone to the con, they all loved it. Vic's line was out the door, it was a two to three hour wait each day to see him, and that just... It just warms my heart. That is absolutely brilliant. And I'm so happy that all his fans are there showing him support and literally just being there for him. And it's really funny as well because say, Vic actually posted a video on his own Twitter. First of all, we're going to do the, uh, the actual tweet and then we're just going to post the actual video. So the tweet goes... I can't begin to express how grateful I am to the KameaCon staff and all the wonderful attendees who came out this past weekend. It was a perfect event with so much positivity and enthusiasm. Thank you so much. <laughs> that is just absolutely brilliant. I absolutely love that. And it shows just how amazing all the people are and all the fans who care for Vic. However, there has been some fans on the Kick Vic side who have been going through social media saying, well, Vic's Q may have been big, but the con was a failure in total. Well, we haven't seen anything worth saying that. You know, everyone's saying the con was great. There was tons of people there. So, if it failed... Can you tell us where, please? Just show us, or you know, and if it's if it's true, then okay, we'll believe you. But if you're not going to back it up and just say, oh, it was a failure anyway, because there's so-and-so one there or whatever, that's just grasping at straws now, that is. And, you know, say all these people, you know, everyone who's had photos of Vic or they've put tweets out, they're all just full of heartwarming Brilliance in my eyes. Everyone's like, oh, you know, Vix, you know, he's the most generous, kindest man I've met. He's the greatest. You know, he's done this, he's done that. You know, it's just amazing. I absolutely love it. But when you get people on the other side as well, the worst thing is now people are starting to get threats from Kick Vic. So this was 18 hours ago. And it's the Anubu King. So, just got a private message from an anonymous person, more than likely from the Kick Vic camp, telling me to stop supporting I Stand With Vic, because Vic belongs to the Dragon Ball community. This does not concern you. First of all, Vic belongs to the anime community, lol try harder. And with that, it's... You know, because I... I have tried looking into this and I can't seem to find the actual tweet or the you know the DM she they said. So I may have to go and ask her about that just so we can see, just so we can get a bit of uh, clarification on it and see what's going on. But if that is the case, you can see what type of people they are on the Kick Vic side. Again, you know, we've had tons of people who have, they have been threatening people. And I just can't seem to understand why. There's no need for it. When you got people like Dominique Sky, who was, you know, she was asked to leave Kamehacon because she had a past that she wasn't supposed to have. And, you know, she wouldn't tell anyone where she got the past from. It's, that's basically going into a police station with a police badge. You're not a copper. Them asking you where'd you get the badge from. And you go, I'm not telling you. You know, it's childish. It would have been a lot easier for Dominique if she actually just said who she got the pass from. And there may have been, you know, not have been any scene. But supposedly, obviously, there, we go, there was someone with her filming the entire thing. Then it probably would have caused a bit of shit. Which we're still waiting on that video as well to see what's actually going on. So until then, we'll just be classing... A few things as allegedly that she was caught trying she was there to try and cause um, well, try and cause a scene with Vic. But until then we won't. So it'll just be like she was there, she was asked to leave, 
and she just wouldn't tell anyone why she had the pass. Another thing as well on uh, Twitter is that you have quite a lot of people who are uh, blocking people massively. They just do a mass blockings for people they've never even spoke to, you know? People they've never even, well, interacted with ever. But this it could be, you know, to show people, oh, look at this, I've done this now, I'm with you, I've stopped them, I've blocked them, yeah, they said this or they said that. But there's a lot of people going around, and I actually believe this myself, if they deserve to be blocked, block them, you know, if they're harassing you or anything. But if they're not, and you block them anyway, just because you think, you know, their opinion's wrong, then that... To me, that's a bit like, well, surely you must see that your opinion must be uh, a little bit wrong because they've said something else and you're blocking them. They've never interacted with you and you're like, I don't want to see them. Get rid of them. You know, it's that sort of thing. Ron Toy as well. So we're going to keep going with this today. He's, uh, he keeps talking on Twitter again and I think... He should really try and come off Twitter at this moment in time, just for his own sake, and maybe just to keep quiet a little bit, I suppose, because a lot of things that's uh, going on at the moment, obviously the the files and court and all this kind of stuff, but <laughs> when uh, he keeps going on saying, I've been stopping people who's called me a liar. I've been going back to them. People who are saying stupid allegations, I've gone back to them. To me, again, and a lot of other people on Twitter think this is as well, Ron. You're just handing ammunition to them. It's, it's better to say nothing than to say something, you know. It's, it's almost like if, you, if you're having an argument... Whoever starts shouting first, they've automatically lost the argument. You know, it's whoever shuts up and doesn't, you know, it's like, okay, whatever. And that's it, you know, that's it. You know, they're the ones who will keep trying to hound you. But, Ron, this is what people seem to be doing. They seem to be saying just a, something little to you. That's it. Not much. You know, it could be a, a little bait or whatever. But you just come back with a lot of stuff, which is a bit like, mate, come on, calm it down. You know, just shush. Stop being so stupid. Don't do it on Twitter. <laughs> you know, it's a public forum and deleting it is not going to help you either, mate. But <laughs> this is how it's come to be now, isn't it? Oh, well. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for future updates and I'll see all you lovely people soon.